but when you really run across a rare group of coins, like it, it takes you back. Like it takes you, you know, you're just enthralled with what you found and enthralled with just the, the rarity of the coin. Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we just stopped by Royal Coins Houston today. Um, we spent about, uh, in terms of value, we have about uh, you know 10 grand in value in coins today. Uh, filled up the whole box, but if you want to turn around, this is uh, this is kind of what Galveston looks like. Follow that Lincoln right there. Anyway, Houston's flooding, but uh, like I said, we found a few nice coins today. 94p. 93s, 84s, but uh, I'm gonna take these home, show you guys, and uh, if you guys are interested in any of our coins today, make sure to uh, go to our website acousticcollectibles.com and uh, check out uh, Luis's Royal Coins Houston and Christie's information. We're gonna post that down below as well. Alrighty guys, just made it home to the light box and I wanted to let you guys know this is a truly special video just because of the when someone says rare coins they normally say like oh we're, we're rare coins we sell Morgan dollars we sell whatever um, but when you really run across a rare group of coins like it, it takes you back like it takes you you know you're just enthralled with what you found and enthralled with just the the rarity of the coin but um, let me show you guys this first coin um, we're gonna start off with the highest valued coins and move into the lower valued coins um, this is an 1879 CC top 100 uh, VAM 3 cap die um, it's graded AU 55 by uh, NGC and something like this um, it's just so rare because um, they made so very few of them, but also that um, the condition of this coin uh, is really hard to find right now. And um, a coin like this is selling for you know twenty eight three three thousand dollars currently. Um, and like I was talking about earlier, Blake and the team over at Royal Coins they really helped us out, really uh, blessed us with this group. Um, I think they sent these in themselves. Um, they had them come into the shop, but they wanted them to be authentic, uh, authentic authenticated. I'm sorry, um, but a coin like this um, is just something that's so uh, unique and rare that it kind of hurts to let go. Um, but they're always in demand, and I really like the coin, even though it's circulated. Um, it's just an extremely rare coin, um, and I can't stress that enough in this video. Uh, I'm going to be showing off a lot of coins that I've never held, I've never been ever a chance to hold, and I haven't even seen many like these in person. Um, this is an 1894 uh, Morgan Dollar at XF40, uh, and the thing about 1894Ps is that there is only 110,000 made. That's the second lowest mintage of the Morgan Dollar series, apart from the 93S, which is 100,000. And we're about to show you a 93S, so that's pretty cool too. Um, but I actually handled like nine, nine pretty hard dates um, at the Summer Fun Show, and three of them actually ended up being 94Ps. And um, the condition of this coin, I like it, what we're going to see in this video, is a lot of them are really rare because uh, most of these that you would sell in your numismatic career are, you know, VG8s or very low, uh, low grade stuff. Um, and so what we did for the Colorado trip was we were done with the show on on uh, on Thursday night, and I was like, should we stay and just have a good time, or should we drive back and buy all these coins because um, they're just super rare and many people uh, would love to get their hands on something like this. So uh, we took the 16-hour drive back in a day, plus all the you know stopping for gas and all that stuff. Um, and we ended up picking up these coins Saturday and hanging out with Christy and Blake. Um, uh, they're two pretty awesome people, and um, th them alone reaching out to us, offering these coins, is just uh, something that really taking me takes me back. Um, and it gives me a kind of an awe um, 
to coin collecting. Most most dealers wouldn't even give you a chance. They're out for themselves many times, but uh, Royal Coins is, is a different place. And if you guys ever get a chance to stop by there, um, you'll feel that atmosphere too. This is 1893S, more than a dollar. Uh, it's, been, it's been cleaned. It's very good. Uh, it's actually good, I'm sorry. And it's been cleaned. Um, but, the you know, we always go back to the 95S, 95O kind of uh, thing we should look for. Uh, the date's fully visible. Mint mark's fully visible. Um, the coin uh, overall isn't too worn to the point where some details are missing. Um, so the coin, like a coin like this, um, you know, if you, what we talked about probably a few uh, episodes ago as well, is that when something like this pops up, buy it. A 93S is in front of your face. Um, there's not many like them. There's not many that are out there. There's not many um, that are available. So many people just say, you know, I need a 93S. I need 10, 10 people need a 93S. So when you finally run into one, um, do your research in terms of pricing. But most of the time, you're going to find uh, a group of people that need a 93S. And, uh, you know, it, it's important to them that they have it in their collection. So um, you offering that as a coin dealer is something that's um, is is important, but also is just a, a tough thing to get around because uh, most of the time these are very overpriced because the dealers don't want to you know they don't want to let them go for nothing, which is a good a good thing for them to do. But you also need to make money on your end too. So uh, keep an eye out for these though when you can buy them uh, for a good price. Make sure to. And we're going to be talking about uh, a, a more a coin that's been hot lately, which is an 1893P. Um, this coin uh, it has been circulated as well, but I think the the value on this coin has probably doubled this year. Uh, many of these were selling for like you know 250, 300 at the start of the year, and now they're selling for you know close to 500 in this grade, um, full retail. So uh, once again, and I think that what would happen was someone brought it maybe in a book for them to look at because you know we have the 93S, we have the 94P, we have the cap die so I think they they probably sold off many of the the less common dates or they were pretty worn so they wouldn't really need to be authenticated um, but the, for the coins in the better dates like these um, it's good to have them authenticated and make sure that people know that they're legit um, when you're selling them just because it's a lot easier time when they're really tough dates and for yourself you know if yeah, we're about to show you a coin that um, it was on the verge of maybe AU55 to AU58, and for that coin in AU58, it's a $1,200, $1,500 price jump. So, sending off to an authentication service sometimes is the value uh, that you that you place in them in terms of giving them the opportunity to uh, tell you what grade you have, but also um, gives you a sure fact that you could sell your coin for. Uh, the appropriate amount, you know, this coin is an 1880, uh, 1884S, graded AU58. Um, I sold one of these a few months ago for around $1,750 after PayPal fees. Um, but right now they're selling for $21, $22, $2,300 on, if you look at recent auctions. Um, and so, uh, AU55 is a lower grade and it would be, you know, around $750, bucks, you know, 800 bucks maybe if you're lucky. Um, to sell that coin at that, um, but in AU58, uh, the coin is uh, a much pricier coin. It's you know $2,200. So um, sometimes, in order to kind of make sure you get the most out of your coins, you want to authenticate them and make sure that uh, a third-party grader's looked at them because you could have sold this coin for a few hundred bucks. Instead, you got it authenticated and it ended up coming back to AU58. And when it comes back to AU58, you're uh, you're doing pretty well for yourself, so um, it's just something that you should consider when you have when you run into a coin that maybe your grandfather or uh, your dad has purchased along the way. Um, even if it grades details, at least you know uh, where it would sit in terms of in the grading spectrum, and it would give you an assurance when you're going to sell a coin that you can ask the right amount, and someone's not going to say, "Well, this looks like a lower grade than what you're saying." and yeah, NGC PCG has put their name on it, and that's going to be uh, your saving grace sometime. But uh, 1901 uh, P is a tougher date as well. Um, many of these uh, dates passed, uh, you know, uh, 1890, you know, 1890s when they're starting to get into the, the 1901s and twos, uh, they start to get overlooked. But the 1901 is a tougher date. Um, 
it's actually a pretty nice key date of the series and um, once again there's a lot of people that you know even they go after the big honcho dates too the 95s 95 93s and then they're starting to say oh crap we need those tougher dates in the you know, past 1900 1901 1902 P is tough um, and so I've been on a real big kick lately um, if I can get a, a key date for a good price um, or even mildly a good price um, it's it's something that you should you should always kind of look for and um, if you even have the capital sometimes to buy something for under what it's valued and you don't even want to sell it further down the line it's going to be worth worth a lot more um, the numismatic kind of scene is really hot right now but it's also going to be hot for many years and it's constantly going to be growing so something that you guys should keep in mind too is uh, just because you buy a coin now doesn't mean you should flip it or sell it sometimes it's worthwhile just to hold on to it and then whenever you're ready to do that or get an upgrade then you guys should and um, but take a look at this uh, 1878 eight tail feather um, you know talk about PQ coin right here premium quality um, just look at the flashiness of it uh, it almost it, it's it was really close to almost having a star to it in my opinion um, but I think the grade of the 62 kind of held it back um, there's just a lot of chatter in the fields breaking up that that luster that they kind of need for this uh, for this coin um, but the interesting part about this coin too is like look at the reverse I mean it's almost spotless almost spotless I think this coin should have had a 63 grade um, but uh, it, it is what it is sometimes uh, with these grading companies um, and most of the time if you can grade raw coins you're going to be doing well with your money and so um, that's why it goes back to kind of training your eye it's important to do that because if you don't um, you can end up leaving money on the table uh, for you know you kind of want if you're going to spend a lot of time or devote a lot of your time of your life to um, in the numismatic space I think the knowledge that you uh, possess uh, the more knowledge you possess the more uh, money and uh, benefits you'll have in terms of being able to spot a coin that somebody else might not be able to or find a coin that someone that might not want or understand and then you be able to, to offer it to a customer and then grow your customer base from there so that's just something to consider when uh, you know moving into the coin dealer space if that's something that you want to do um, for your life but let me show you these two last coins um, this is the 1883s um, and what I've kind of been practicing lately is um, having each having a date um, available in the series for someone to buy so if I if I sell a 93s or if I sell an 83s um, you gotta fill that back in it with your inventory so there's another 83s available for someone to buy so if I show off an 83s it sells then I need to find another one so it, it kind of fills back in that slot for me because someone writes me all the time hey I need a 95.0 I need a 95s um, and sometimes it's it's good to have that placeholder there because when someone calls you can help them you can answer and so for the next time when someone calls for a different date or they want to sell you something you'll already have that rapport with them and you'll be able to reach out and give them your opinion but also be able to do business and keep them in the loop with you so uh, just something for you guys to think about a lot of uh, knowledge I'm trying to just give you so you can take take what you what you want from it and also help you whatever way or whatever thing that you're trying to do currently um, I just try to give away the knowledge that I have so uh, other people can be benefited from it um, and also just uh, you know whatever you guys want to do with your life or your dreams and your aspirations I hope something in this video or something that I've said in the past uh, gives you kind of that uh, extra help in your perspective on on what you want to achieve um, this last coin today uh, is an 1885 CC uh, uh, extremely uh, nice coin just because of, of its blast white uh, appearance and uh, once again we're going back to this problem free uh, almost reverse here uh, a little bit of chatter but uh, it's it's a nice coin overall um, I needed more CC's to fill in for um, fill in for the inventory and for the website and so if you guys are interested in any of the coins that are pictured today or coins that are going to be uploaded in the future um, I would suggest you guys going on to our website acousticallectibles.com and seeing everything that we have um, we're trying to move into more rare coins like this but also offer coins that 
are a little bit easier to uh, find in the space. Um, you know, something that would get you started and something that would uh, keep the ball rolling for you. So thank you guys for letting me take a look at these coins with you. Um, and let's roll to the outro. Thank you guys for watching Akusha Collectibles. We really enjoy uh, communicating with you guys. Um, we love the support. Please check out our website, like, uh, comment, and subscribe. What you learned, what was important uh, from this video. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.